Yo, how's it going everybody? This is Saber Wolf 4 and I've got a pretty cool match for you guys here with the Charizard deck from Team Up. Uh, one of the more uh, serious matchups here, going up one of the more serious decks. Uh, it's going to be Melamar, a deck that has really proven itself. Ever since it was going to get released, like the cards got revealed, I really had high hopes and warned everyone about this deck. Uh, everybody, I mean, had a pretty solid idea was going to be good. There were a lot of doubters, uh, but then it just topped in the World Championship. It topped in the uh, uh, North American International Championship, too, and it's been really going strong ever since. A reliable option all the time. A Malamar, whether you run it with Ultra Necrozma, whether you run it with the regular Necrozma GX, and just any other way you run it, it should usually be a good, reliable deck. And let's see, I'm going to open up with a Molka here. And we have a really good hand. Uh, the Charmeleon and the Charizard. I mean, Charizard is good to have around. The Charmeleon, maybe I don't need him right now. But we have an Ultra Ball. I have my Cynthia. I've got my Volkner. We have a few options here. I like being able to use my Ultra Ball when I have a Molka down. It means I'll be able to search and discard a Molka. And my opponent played down this Verizian Forest, which is actually, this, this stadium is good, but... I just, every time my opponent plays it, it just really helps me out a lot. I really find ways to exploit it. Like, we can get a far energy in this case, discard something like the Charmeleon, and I can use my Heat Factory immediately, uh, even though I don't have energy myself. So it's really great, uh, which is why I've been kind of straying uh, from running it in my decks, in certain decks where it would be a good card, because I can just see like how easily my opponent can exploit it. But anyways... Uh, my opponent really is having the nuts here. He already has two of the uh, NKs down. It has his main attack, our alternate Cosma GX. Jirachi is in the active position doing some good searching. And uh, he placed on another Jirachi. Goes with the escape board. Damn. Uh, even going to go for another Jirachi search here. And uh, yeah, this Jirachi would still wish. This is one of the decks where it really just shines. Uh, since it's a setup deck, you don't really attack in the beginning. You want to get your uh, Malamars out, set up your Disco Pile, and then Ultra Crossman GX can fuck up anybody. So yeah, really good. So let's use Viridian Forest here. Discard the Moltres. I'm not going to use this card. It's, this card is only good like if you open with it and you don't have anything else going. Otherwise, it's just it's not so good. Because I'm going to search better cards now. So let's grab the Molka from the deck. We only have one. It seems the other one is prized. Okay, no problem. Get rid of his stadium with my Heat Factory immediately. That's nice. And Ultra Ball. Let's get rid of the Molka, of course. And I guess I'm going to go with a Charmeleon. I'm really hoping that I'm going to utilize all of my rare candies. Not get any slow evolutions like that guy. Just instantly get Charizard out. So we get Charmander. Maybe I should have grabbed Jirachi myself. But I guess we always, I always make, I mean, it's not exactly a misplay here because I, you want to search out your Charmanders. Use the Volkner here, use the Nest Ball, get another one of those guys out. And I've got my Heat Factory, I've got my Cynthia for next turn. So, yeah, might not be the most optimal play, might be a solid play. Uh, let's draw three cards with Heat Factory and I see another Charizard. Uh, the only other one. And another fire energy. Okay. So, a decent turn, but I don't like the fact that I don't didn't see, like, a candy. And uh, we're going to have to use Cynthia and shuffle in a bunch of cards next turn. That's not nice. Uh, so, Jirachi, my opponent, going to go ahead and exploit that Pokemon even more. Get even more uh, strong searches with this card. Gets the Ultra Ball. Uh, really just great man. He's probably going to start uh, grabbing his uh, uh, Malamars. Now, uh, the Alternate Crossman GX, it is a Pokemon that Charizard can get a knockout without too much trouble. Uh, it's, it's one of those in that it's a, a basic GX Pokemon, not a tag team one. So it's in that range where we can just, it's the right HP where we can KO it without too much trouble and get two prize cards. And my opponent, the overkill damage you can do with Ultra Necrozma isn't really uh, that great. 
since uh, I only have 150 HP, 130 after I use the ability. But it definitely is an aggressive dude. And let's see, my opponent managed to grab another one of his stadiums, Verizian Forest. And uh, my guess is not going to waste any time. Get rid of the heat factory there and play that shit down. It's too bad. I would have liked to have used more heat factory. Yeah, since we had the fire energy, it would have been good. Too bad. Gonna go right ahead and switch into the Mal the Ultra Necrozma. I hoped he didn't have the means, but of course he would have. And easily get rid of my Charmander and get an easy prize. And we gotta get our act together here. It's not like I had a slow or bad start, but this just deck is so fast. My opponent played first too, so that makes a big difference. If I was the one that played first, uh, this would have made a world of difference in the game state. And you guys can see in this setup just if both players are running setup decks just what a significant advantage it is uh, when you play first or second I mean it, it's the reason why I think that the old rules were better in many ways the old rare candy errata the old rare candy effect what I meant to say just better uh, but oh well, so I can't really do much here. Cynthia gave me a few cards, but not exactly what I needed once again. And uh, we'll be forced to pass here. There's not much I can do. I could just play like the stretcher and get like a Tremillion, but it's it's really is a waste. Uh, you want to save those for the Charizards or maybe like an emergency Charmander or whatever. So yeah, a passive turn, kind of unfortunate. I don't want to give my opponent this lead because it really is going to lead to my demise, me losing the game. But it is what it is. We didn't see what we needed. Maybe I should have made some different plays on my first turn. So promotes the Jirachi again and really just, he really is uh, very confident in promoting that guy and not worrying about switching him again uh, thanks to that fucking uh, escape board. It'd be good if I had like at least one of my... Uh, field blowers, just one of my outs. So that that doesn't work out. So we're gonna promote the mime there because I don't want to promote the Charmanders and then they die too. We might be making a passive turn again here, but lo and behold, I top deck the best thing I can top deck, the Charizard. So we are gonna be able to make our attack here. We have all the tools we need. Roaring Resolve. It's gonna give me two energies on this guy. With three and the choice band, I can take care of this alternate cross my GX in one one shot. We're gonna have to spend an energy to move the mime out of the way, but I guess I didn't know I was gonna top deck the Charizard. So yeah, that was the point. And we're kinda getting back in the game here. I'll we'll be at even prizes after I get this knockout. And hopefully I, f I see a few things from the prizes to set me up for next turn. Uh, Cause really need some shit here going. So Lily and a switch, very, very good. Get a few things that I need. So my hope here is that my opponent is going to find it difficult to get another attacker. But, I mean, when you have these two Jirachis down with the fucking escape board there unhindered, like not really using my field blowers to get rid of that shit, and just, just letting him do whatever the hell he wants, uh, he's just too, too much major advantage for him. Like I'm not, I'm not responding very well here. Uh, he just, he's just gonna generate too much advantage at this point. Generate too much of a lead. I uh, just have all the answers since I'm not stopping him, and he easily got another alternate Krosma. Gonna be able to easily uh, knock out my Charizard here, and I'll be back where I was before, not having an attacker, not knowing what to promote. It's, it's too fucking bad, man, because. Uh, this deck should be like a good matchup for Charizard if I have a good consistent setup myself. So we're going to promote the Mime there. And my opponent is at three prizes. Things are really getting dangerous here. I top deck the Ultra Ball. I mean, it would have been good, I guess, if I had like, a, I don't know, like a candy. But what are we going to do here? Uh, damn it. It's, it's kind of rough. So no choice. I'm gonna I'm gonna discard the um, uh, Ultra Ball there with the uh, use his stadium to get a fire energy. I guess we're gonna need that anyway, and just make this play so that I can draw a few cards with Lily here, 
and hopefully we get lucky. Uh, there's not much else I can hope to. And unfortunately, we don't. We do not. Damn. I'm going to be forced to move the Charmander out of harm's way. I guess let's use the Ultra Ball. Uh, I, might, I might need to search my own Jirachi here. I just got to do something. Uh, so discard the far energy and one of the stretchers. I need the Erika for next turn since it's the only supporter I have. The choice band is just too valuable. It's my means to get a knockout on this guy. So yeah, get the Jirachi and hope, hope it provides me something here. Uh, yeah, it's just a really pitiful, a really pitiful place. At this point, I have my back against the wall. It's going to be very difficult to do something there. I've already lost a, a lot of my basic Pokemon. We already discarded a stretcher too. Like, it's not like you have uh, 10 Charmanders. You only have 4. Uh, and I think, like, at least 3 of them are dead. Like, either 2 or 3. So it's not looking really good there. I get the rare candy thinking that um, I have the stretcher and I can get the Charizard out next turn. Uh, but let's see what my opponent does. Let's see, indeed. Uh, yeah, two Charmanders are over there. So I guess I do have one more in the deck. So Photon Geyser takes care of the Jirachi. At least, I guess, the Charmander survive. We'll be able to respond back. And uh, hopefully, after I get this KO, he can't really come back for a bit. Uh, yeah, it's, it's rough. It's freaking rough, man. So, I'm going to use the Stretcher here. And... Since I'm not using this to shuffle cards back in the deck, it means that we can only get out one more Charizard besides this guy. So we have to be really, really careful here if we're even going to have a chance to win this game at this point. So Charizard comes out. I'm going to use his ability for sure, get too far energies, then use my opponent's stadium to my advantage. Guarantee get a far energy, attach it to this guy, and then use one of the supporters. Either Lily or Erika can net me six cards in this case. So I guess we're going to get rid of the Erika. I probably should have gotten rid of the Lily. It's just cooler to use Erika, giving me that Stephen's Advice vibe from way back in the day. Uh, yeah. But she definitely does. It isn't as good as how like Stephen used to be, for sure, way back then. So at this point, I didn't see like a Charmander. I didn't see anything else. We saw the Charizard, but nobody else. So... Once I get this KO, if my opponent manages to KO the Charizard, then I won't have anything to respond with in time. The only Pokemon that can respond in this deck, of course, is Charizard. And we didn't get the Charmander, man. Fuck. Like, it might even be prized. The last one might even be prized, actually. So, Stellar Wish, my opponent, gonna go ahead and abuse the Jirachi even more. I never saw any of my Field Blower, damn it, to get rid of his shit. And he decides to get the Guzma. Okay. Don't really know why there. And uh, Mystery Treasure, unfortunately. Unfortunately, he's going to be able to search an attack. But even Giratina in this case, it just works out perfectly. Can do 130 damage exactly enough to knock out the Charizard. And he doesn't even promote like uh, one of his GXs. So yeah. Those damage counters that Charizard puts on himself, of course, they matter too. Uh, in this case, Giratina being able to finish it off here, being softened up like that. Uh, yeah. Oh well, at this point, you guys have probably realized it's going to be GG. I won't be able to do anything here. My opponent will be able to finish off this Charizard. And I don't, I don't have anything to respond with. Like, if we had like a Charmander down from the previous turn, then maybe I could have tried and evolve into the Charizard, but it's it's we, we don't have it. I won't be able to respond with anything. Even Moltres with 120 HP can't survive against the Giratina's attack. So all I can do is just make one one final pointless attack and then give my opponent the victory. But oh well, it's it's GG. Uh, even in this struggling position, you guys can see that Charizard can really put in the work. Uh, got me two big knockouts and were two prizes. If only I just had a better setup, uh, we responded uh, 
better every turn, and maybe I hit like field blowers to mess up his Jirachi's plays a little bit. Just do something. Then it would have made a big difference. And playing first would have made a very big difference too. Uh, definitely. That was very significant. But either way, GG. Hope you guys enjoyed this match. Hope you guys uh, subscribe and leave a like and share this video with your friends. If they want to see some Charizard matches from Team Up. Uh, really, really good. Stage 2. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Zabro Vine 4. We'll see.